What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've been getting a lot of requests to add a stun in my end mode combat system. Unlike other systems, this one is going to be quite simple. And not going to use like any modules or add any extra complexity to it. So let's get started. If you're using like um, a model that you exported or like... If you're using a model that's not one of Roblox's default rigs, then you have to do this. Click on the um, model and go down in the properties and add an attribute by pressing the plus and name it stunned and change the type to boolean and save it so and this should be like off by default if you're using one of roblox's default models then uh, then go to service script service Create a regular script and you can just name it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. I'll just call it on player joined. And I will delete print hello world. And I'll do game dot players dot player added connect function and put PLR passing. So basically what this line of code is saying Whenever a player joins the game, connect it to a function with player passing. Now do plr dot character added connect function and the same for player passing. Almost the same thing as the line above. If you're wondering what's the difference between the player and the character, so the character is basically your avatar, and the player is um person that's controlling what we're having on screen like in our case i'm the player and my avatar is the character now do char set attribute and stunned comma false so basically what we're doing here is we're creating something called a boolean attribute a boolean attribute is sort of like a true or false tag you can put on the player or on like objects. So yeah, basically we're done with the script. So now go to our M1 client script, go all the way down and do local walk speed is equal to 16 and local jump height is equal to eight. So basically we're storing these values in variables and we're going to change those values later so that the player can't walk or jump while they're stunned so coroutine dot resume coroutine dot create and inside here put function and do while wait do if char get attribute and make sure you have the exact spelling and capitalization as the one you set as the one you set over here or as the one you set over here otherwise like otherwise it won't work and then do is equal equal to true then so what we're seeing here is if our character's attribute which is stunned is true then continue the line do humanoid dot walk speed is equal to zero and humanoid dot jump height is equal to zero so if stunned is true, then the player can walk or jump. Now I'm going to line under and do else if. Just copy paste this line. And instead of setting it to true, set it to false. So if our attribute is false, then...
humanoid dot walk speed is equal to our walk speed variable, which is 16, and humanoid dot jump height is equal to our jump height variable, which is 8. So this will make it so the player can't walk or jump. Okay, so now go to our M1 server script and do do a wait here, and let's do 0.5. Or 0.2 seconds and do enemy character dot humanoid root part dot parent set attribute stunned true set attribute stunned false so basically what we're saying here is we're just setting the attribute false and it just do this exact same thing but with true and then just wait 0.5 or how many seconds you want it to they can walk or move again or like do any action again and we'll set it to false again and do the exact same thing but for when the combo is less than four if you're wondering why not set it to true when our velocity when we're like creating velocity so we get knockback that basically if you just set it to true then the knockback won't work it will just it will just like not not do anything it will stay still so yeah that's why we m made it look like when we we're destroying the velocity so now let's play to test it out select our rig and let's go to our attributes and stunned punch and our stun attribute is true we do punch again or kick It is true, and then it's false. Okay, so great, we added a stun to our M1 system. If you face any issues, comment down below or join my Discord server. I will res I will surely respond. Now that's it for now. See you in the next video.